It's 6.03 on Friday, October 11th. We're at 47 degrees. A cool start going up to near 70 later. Sunshine. Good morning. I'm Michelle Bash. And I'm John Aaron. The top local story we're following this hour involves election 2024 on WTOP. Republican Larry Hogan and Democrat Angela also Brooks met on stage yesterday for their first and only debate in Maryland's U.S. Senate race. The event was hosted by Maryland Public Television. WTOP's Nick Ionelli was there and tells us about the most contentious issue. It was not a combative debate. The two candidates didn't spend much time attacking each other. In fact, Larry Hogan started off in his opening remarks by saying, I like and respect Angela also Brooks. But the two did have some notable clashes when talking about abortion, with also Brooks saying, A woman's right to choose is on the ballot. The Republican Party has declared war on women's reproductive freedoms. Also Brooks claimed that Hogan being elected to the U.S. Senate would tip the balance of power in favor of Republicans, allowing them to pass national limits on abortion. Hogan repeatedly called also Brooks a liar for saying that. You can disagree with that, my position, but you can't lie about it. My opponent has been, uh, her whole entire campaign is based on lies. For you to lie about something as important as this issue, it, it really is insulting. Also, Brooks countered. The problem he's going to have is his party does not agree with him. I do not believe that having a majority controlled by Republicans is in the best interest of our state or our country. Though Hogan vowed that in the Senate, he would fight to make Roe v. Wade the law of the land once again. In Owings Mills, Nick Ainelli, WTOP News. An investigation's underway after a deadly shooting at a Foot Locker store in Hillcrest Heights. Prince George's County Police responded to the shoe store near the shops at Iverson Mall just before 6 yesterday evening. A male victim was found shot dead inside. Police don't think that that person was working there. The store reportedly has interior cameras as part of its security setup. Investigators also recently installed a crime camera in the parking lot after customers and employees expressed safety concerns. Anyone with information about this shooting is being asked to contact county police. Mother Nature is putting on quite a show in our area. WTOP's Kyle Cooper reports for the second time this year, the northern lights have been visible in the night sky. The pink, green, orange, and red lights visible in the northern sky the last few nights went directly over my head and into the southeast by the moon. Unreal. WTOP space reporter Greg Redford says if you can, go to a dark spot, maybe even tonight to see the lights, but that may not be necessary. I've had some friends who are in Fairfax County in an apartment building. They picked up an image that shows the red. If your phone has a night sky setting, use that. It may pick up images your eyes cannot see. Kyle Cooper, WTOP News. The basic goal of our judicial system is that the punishment must fit the crime. WTOP's Neil Augenstein says one local town wants to make sure that applies to distracted drivers. The state code does not provide us the ability to charge a driver with failure to pay full-time attention. Purcellville Police Chief Barry Dupek proposed changing the town code to let officers give a ticket to distracted drivers. Somebody has a dog in their face while they're driving, they can't see what they're doing. The Class 1 misdemeanor of reckless driving has a maximum penalty of up to a year in jail. You get into a traffic crash and you hit the back of a vehicle and you didn't, your intended purpose was obviously not to do that. And we charge you because that's all we have is we charged with reckless driving. I think the rebut to that is this seems pretty severe, right? The town council agreed the new distracted driving citation will mean a $250 fine, but no points on your license. In Loudoun County, Neil Augenstein, WTOP News. Coming up, making it easier for gamers to go mobile. Traffic and weather in 30 seconds.